Well, here we are. The big day has finally arrived. Today, we start our campaign in the Premier League. It's the Uruguayan curl to our end. What is up guys, Matthew here, and welcome to the beginning of Season 3 in our Project Borough FM 24 career mode. Today, we've got the opening two games in the Premier League. We're here finally, of course, we've had a busy transfer window, a very difficult transfer window, and we did a pretty hefty transfer special in the last video, so I urge you guys to go and check that out if you haven't already and uh, we've tried our best with the budget that we have available to us to yeah basically get the best possible team together and build the best possible squad that will be good enough for the Premier League. Today we actually start with a bit of a rematch from last season. Um, the two sides who are Predicted to get relegated, go head to head, and I mean, is it too early to say this is a six-pointer? I don't know, but I mean, there's not probably going to be many points between the two of us at the end of the season, and wins might not be that nice and easy to come by. So if we can get a win against Blackburn, that could be a much bigger result than we perhaps think. And then we have the the small matter of hosting Manchester United in our first home game. What an occasion that's going to be. The Riverside will be absolutely packed. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get the team ready and head to Ewood Park for the opening day of our Premier League campaign. So then, here is the team to head to Ewood Park on our Premier League debut. So Mats Hermansen makes his debut between the sticks. We've then got Real Walters on the right-hand side. Very excited to see what he's going to be about. We are starting Rav Vandenberg alongside Dara Lenahan. This is the season for Rav, I hope. And then Ian Matson will start as the left-back. He, of course, is coming in for Ryan Manning, who, unfortunately, has got himself injured in the build-up to the season. A very good midfield three, I must say. Yasuke Idaguchi, currently the best-rated player in our lineup, alongside our goalkeeper. He's going to sit at the base of Hayden Hackney. And Riley McGree, who is still here, of course. Riley, once upon a time, wanted out, nearly left for Southampton. In fact, both of them nearly left for Southampton, but they're still here. And they are both Premier League level midfielders. Isaiah Jones, unfortunately, picked up an injury uh, in the lead up to the game. So he's not going to be fit enough to play today. So it is going to be a debut for Ahmed Diallo on the right. Jeremy Sarmiento comes in off the left. And we are going to stick with the man who got us here, Anthony Martial, who will start up front. And uh, on the bench, we've got Sonny Dieng, Anderson Arroyo, Scott McKenna, Nathan Ferguson, Latilaf. Lewis O'Brien, Alex Bangura, Isaiah Jones is on there. And of course, our other new signing, Ignacio Pusetto, who is going to be up front. Unfortunately, another one of our new signings, Florent Muslija, is injured for a few weeks. So he sadly won't be able to come into the midfield just yet, but is another fantastic option in the middle. But this is, I think, a big game. Um, you know, early days, both teams are probably going to be down there. It's a chance for us to grab a very, very valuable three points. So, um, yeah, very excited. Let's get this underway. Yes, we're not playing a team who were in the Premier League last season. Yes, we are playing a side who we actually played last season quite a lot. But it is still the opening day of the Premier League. So, um... Very excited, very, very excited to see the Premier Division listed and to see our name amongst it. Absolutely incredible. I'd love nothing more than us to get three points here. Because although in the Championship when you're fighting to go up, three points becomes quite a natural thing. But when you're, when you're in the Premier League, three points is like gold dust. It really, really is. And we've still got the latest scores in the Championship. 
we don't want that anymore. We want the Premier League. There we go. Tottenham are beating Brighton. It's one all between Palace and Arsenal and Liverpool and Newcastle are drawing as well. Wolves are beating Brentford. First highlight, or first Premier League highlight, is hopefully a Borough one. As we are playing the ball out from the back here, Hayden Hackney plays in. Jeremy Sarmiento, here he is. The first sight we've had to look at our new boy. Plays then to Martial, who's onside, and he's hit the post. What a great move on the left. But we hit the post. That's so frustrating. It is worth noting as well, we are reverting back to the tactic we used last season here. Um, we have obviously adopted a much more defensive counter-attacking approach. But um, that's for most teams in the championship. But I feel like when we're playing a side like Blackburn, who we're going to be competing with directly, we have to play our game. You know, We have to play the game that got us here in the first place, the positive game that got us here in the first place. So, uh, yeah, we will be doing that as and when depending on the opposition, really. Matson plays a good ball forward to Jeremy Sarmiento. He's going to cut inside, being the inside forward he is. Jeremy Sarmiento puts us 1-0 up. And our loan signing from Brighton gives us our first goal in the Premier League. He was our first signing, and he scored the first goal. Matson playing him in, cuts inside. Obviously, we're usually playing with without and out wingers, but... Sarmiento is going to be an inside forward for us this season, which is mostly down to the counter-attacking style, but we saw it bear fruit there, didn't we? He cut inside on his right foot. What a wonderful finish. It may have took a little bit of a deflection, but um, here we go again down the right-hand side. McGree plays Ahmed Diallo in here. Diallo squares it to Martial, and that's a big block by Dominic Hyam, who has prevented a certain second goal. That was very, very close to being 2-0 Borough. McGree whips it in, headed clear. I am needing to hire a set-piece coach. Um, I want to do that this season. We need to hire a set-piece coach, delegate everything to him, because set-piece is, is going to be, I think, a crucial, crucial part of our game that could nick us the goal, that you know, the odd goal when we need it. So, um, yeah, that's definitely a tiny little bit of benefit we can squeeze out. And there is a shot from Jake Gar Garrett, and that's an absolutely wonderful finish into the bottom corner. A wonderful goal. It's their first really good spell of the game. What a strike. Smodix plays it out to Garrett here. Skips past McGree, but, I mean, still from there, he has to put it right in the corner. Beyond Hermanson. And our lead didn't last that long. Bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. Their XG is pretty low. We've been the better team. A real shame that we've come in level. But um, keep going. I think we'll get the result we want. Eventually happy with the defensive work so far. Can maybe improve a bit going forward in terms of our playmaking. But... Positive, I think, first half, and we might have to go positive at some point as well if we want to go and win this game. We'll have to wait and see how the boys get on. I've not had to encourage them or anything yet. I've, I've let them do their thing. And uh, it's not been too bad so far. Matson with a free kick gets it back from Dara Lenahan here, who plays it back across to Vandenberg. Both centre-backs are booked at the moment. Here's Idaguchi. Plays it into McGree. Oh, that's a good ball into Martial. And here's Jeremy Sarmiento. And that was a wonderful save. A great move. And I don't know how we are not 2-1 up here. We've had some really good opportunities. Their goalkeeper has made some wonderful saves. And their defenders have made some really good blocks. Here's McGree. He's offside. That's careless and annoying. But we are going to make a change. Five changes I think we can make in the Premier League. And we can have a, a very nice big chunky bench as well. We are going to bring on Ignacio Pusetto for his debut. Let's see what he's all about. Um, what else can we do? McGree's nervous. Um, can Idaguchi play a little further forward? Yeah, he can. He, he can actually play in multiple positions. So we'll bring Idaguchi into the middle of midfield. He can actually be an advanced player. He can do everything. I love him and he's free. Love it. Uh, Lewis O'Brien can come in as a ball winner then. 
And we'll uh, we'll make them two changes. And let's see if Pusetto can make himself an instant hero. We've we've been on top for most of this game, you know. I I really think we might go positive here. Because I feel like the win is there for us. I honestly believe that. If there's one team who looks like they're going to win the game, I'd like to think it's Borough at this moment in time. Matson and Hackney playing it between one another. Oh, it's a good ball into Pesetto. He's in the box and Pesetto puts it in the top corner. Ho oh, ho! That could be his first shot. And he's put it in the top corner. What a finish from the man we signed from Argentina. Hackney plays it in. Great first, second touch. And then he just slams it into the roof of the net. It's what you want to see. Obviously, VAR is a thing we're going to have to get used to in the Premier League, but it wasn't required there. Pissetto was onside. Now, the question is, can we hold on? Or could we double our lead here? I'm a Diallo. Hackney! Oh, what a goal from Hayden Hackney! Oh, but it could be offside. What a volley. VAR's going to take a look. It's in! It's been allowed! What a goal! Oh, he's miles on. Look at the volley! What a strike from Hayden Hackney. Wow. That is special. And now I think is a good time to just... I mean, our tempo was slow anyway. I didn't even realise it was that slow. It shouldn't be. Um, but what a goal from Hayden Hackney. Wow. Okay, we do not have any more central midfielders. That could be a possible area. I mean, must lead you would normally be in there, of course. But um, Walters has, has had a good game. Let's bring on Arroyo. His morale and is a little bit better than Nathan Ferguson's. Um, Udaguchi, I'd, I'd like to bring him off, but I don't know who I'd bring him on for. Bangura? No. Plays down the left, doesn't he? I think the midfield might just have to stay as is, to be honest. But um, I think Diallo and Samiento have both done exceptionally well. And uh, we're going to bring on Latte Lath, I think. Give him some game time. But uh, let's see if we can just hold this out and not give ourselves any unnecessary nerves. I mean, it's been a wonderful performance. Barring a couple of odd spells here and there, Blackburn haven't done much. And uh, we've been the better side. And I say that, we've just gave the ball away in a terrible position. And this is where it's 3-2, isn't it? This is where it hits 3-2. Here's Carbonell. And, oh, Manson's made a fantastic save there. We've not seen much of our new goalkeeper. But he's made a very good save there. But uh, he might have to make another one pretty quickly. Buckley with the outswinging corner. And Hyam gets it all wrong. It's a goal kick. And that, I think, should be that. What more can you ask? Yes, we've played a team who come up with us. But away from home against a side who we might be battling with. A 3-1 win. You cannot ask for much better. Hackney had a great game. As did Diallo. Our two new boys, Samiento and Pusetto, come on and had fantastic games as well. Couldn't ask for a better start. Executed the game plan to perfection. The debuts were incredible. Yeah, Garrett's goal was good. I'll, I'll give him that. So, we're sixth in the Premier League. Screenshot it, because we're probably not going to get much higher than that. But, yeah, enjoy it while it lasts. A wonderful game, a wonderful debut for us here in the top flight. Elsewhere, Tottenham beat Brighton 5-3. Arsenal won 3-1 at Palace. Leicester, who of course have come up with us, drew 0-0 at home to West Ham. Liverpool battered the Geordies, which I'd love to see. Um, City beat Bournemouth. Wolves beat Brentford. Okay, well, we're going to give Hackney some praise for that incredible performance. And, uh, yeah. I think we're going to instantly go ahead and uh, get straight into the next game. There, there's the defender, by the way, who I tried signing, who turned around and said he didn't want to come here. Who I was really excited to sign from Atletico Madrid. Yeah, wouldn't be interested in joining. 
would require Middlesbrough to improve their standing. I mean, we're sixth. We are sixth at the minute. You know, I know it's a temporary thing, but I mean, do you want to come? Because we are the sixth best team in the Premier League as it stands. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see if the um, the Totty deal comes through as well, which will bolster us in defence. Um, and then, yeah, we're pretty much set then, unless anyone gets sold. So I'll head to the Manchester United game next. And if anything happens in between, I'll let you know. Well, we have got a pretty interesting offer in for one of our players, which I'll get to in a second. Um, interesting, and I, I love this sort of thing. Um, but we've sold 24,000 season tickets this season, which is incredible, um, given the fact that that's 75-80% of our stadium capacity. Um, 4,000 more than what we sold last season, which is awesome. This is what has happened, though. Empoli have come in and have made a non-negotiable bid for Emmanuel Atalaf. They want 8 million, or they want to pay 8 million. Um, yeah, let's have a little look at this. So... We would have to pay the outstanding amount still owed to him for a loyalty bonus, which is 220k. It's not too bad. Um, and despite their bid, he'd rather go to Espanyol. Well, I'm sorry, mate, but Espanyol haven't put a bid in for you. No, they want him on loan. We don't want a loan. We want money, money, money. It's only 2 million less than what we kind of want for him, but we are struggling to shift a couple of the players this season. So we are going to get that hopefully done. There's a look at the Manchester United team. Oh my God, that terrifies me. I'll keep you updated on the last deal and uh, if anything else happens too. Well, instantly, uh, Granada have come in um, and they want a loan. Um, I, I don't understand. What did we just accept? Empoli, 8 million. No, we're not loaning him. I mean, this, this is the team he'd rather go for, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you want him for a pound? Um, no. We want to say, if you want him, match the offer of Empoli. And if you do that, you can have him. Well, Granada have turned around and said they do not want to match Empoli's offer for Lat Elath. Fair enough. And officially, Totti has agreed to sign for the club, which is absolutely fantastic. He's been granted his work permit, and our, our search for a strong Premier League centre-back finally comes to an end. He is more of a wide centre-back like Rav, so you know what? If we ever have to change to five at the back, we would be in absolute dreamland, if I'm honest. Because that's ideal for a three side, like a back three with wing backs. Which you know what we can absolutely do with, you know, Matson on one side and um, I've just forgotten who our right back is. Uh, but yeah, we're happy with that. 4.7 will be deducted from our transfer budget, which is 5.7, which gives us still a million pounds wriggle room, and we should be able to essentially shift the wage budget. Uh, all the way and that gets us above and in line so we've we've spent our money I dare say as wisely as we could we still have a tiny bit left over but it's just enough so that we're not overspending on our wage budget and and we've got players who are hopefully gonna leave too so if they leave then I think we'll be in a great position as well um, to maybe sign a few more well we're on the eve of the United game and Lat Elath is leaving he is off to Empoli um, the deal I think was eight million pounds and five percent of that will go to Atalanta and the board have agreed to give us 4.6 million which I'm quite happy with that I think that's quite a nice amount you know what we're gonna wish him luck and well he doesn't seem that bothered bye um, so Manu has gone and uh, that does give us 4.6 million which is cool. Um, we'll have a little look to see where and uh, where we can improve on that. If you've got any suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. But uh, now it's time to turn our attention to the big one. It's the opening home game of the Premier League, and it's against none other than Manchester United. 
Okay, so here is the team ahead of the game against Manchester United. We are playing for the first time our new tactic that, of course, we were asked to start playing. The board expect us to start playing. It is a defensive counter-attacking style of football, which even at home to Manchester United, I think is absolutely necessary. But Matt Hermanson will be in goal, unfortunately... Royal, uh, Royal Walters did pick up a slight niggle in the build-up, a pulled groin, so he's going to miss out. So Arroyo comes in on the right, Totti goes straight in to the centre of defence alongside Daryl Enahan, who had a fantastic opening day. Uh, the better of him and Vandenberg, so I've kept him in, and Matson once again is on the left. We've got the same midfield three that seemed to boss the game, Iriguchi, Hackney and Riley McGree. Isaiah Jones is back in and fit, which is great because obviously Ahmed Diallo is ineligible against his parent club. Samiento back in, of course, after his goal. And Ignacio Pusetto also earns himself a start because of the impact he made last time out. But this is a huge occasion for Middlesbrough Football Club. It's games like this where we... We, we, we've looked forward to reason it's days like this why we've tried so hard to get promoted out of the championship and um, we can just hopefully go out there and give a good performance you know let's not put too much expectation on our shoulders it is Manchester United and a result here would obviously be a, a dream it would be more than a dream but um we just want to be competitive and, and see if we can and you know see if we can take a point or two off off of United. That'd be awesome. But um, I find that M U F T C Man United Football. To, I don't know what that is. A bit weird. But yeah, let's not get well beaten. I know we've obviously had the seven-one defeat against Arsenal last season, which was a very humbling one. We need to try and stay in the game for as long as possible here. Mason Mount with an early cross. Hermanson makes a very good save from a Hoyland header. And United have a chance straight away. Hoyland's back in again. And I think it was blocked by Arroyo. But already in the first minute, Manchester United are putting their authority. They're stamping their authority down. As Hoyland's hit the bar. And Mason Mount's there with the rebound. Oh, dear. Dear, they've absolutely just battered us in this first two minutes. Um, and I think Totti missed his clearance or missed a header or something. I saw him getting uh, criticised. Never mind. Oh, well, you want to stay in these sort of games for as long as possible, don't you? It's um, yeah, it's a shame that we've, we've gone down so early. But um, I just I just hope we don't get really well beaten. You know, you can take getting beaten by Man United as long as it's not a hammering, you know, and you, you, you put in a good performance. Trying to see a potential, you know, of our counter-attacking style. Here's Samiento. I mean, he's absolutely danced through the midfield there, but the ball's been intercepted by Luke Shaw. Here's Martinez back to Luke Shaw now. Sandro Martinez, we need a helping hand from someone in the United team. Here's Bruno Fernandes into Hoyland. Here, Marcus Rashford's in behind. He's been taken wide, but he still finds the far corner. Welcome to the Premier League, Middlesbrough Football Club. We need to get used to this. We need to get used to being humbled by these really top teams and listen these are not the sides we are expected to beat these are not the sides we are expected to compete with we just need to hope that we can maybe pull off a shock every now and again and that will accumulate enough points for us to stay up essentially but uh yeah half time and well we're in the man united half that's quite nice. Are we going to do anything about it? No. Although they've gave the ball away. Isaiah Jones has scored. Manchester United have just had a bit of a Western Super at the back. What has happened there? Well, Anana making an error. I mean, well, 
what can you say? But um, yeah, this cross seemed absolutely aimless. Anana come out, Vitic cleared it, Hackney intercepted from Mount, and Anana just never got back in goal. A very strange error at the back by Manchester United, and uh, well, we go into half time, one one goal down. I mean, you know, I, I take that, you know, I take it. Um, we just need to keep encouraging the boys, don't we? Um, it's as simple as that. It's tough though, but you don't want to patronise them. We have to really think about our team talk and uh, how we go about it this season because we can't say they've been terrible when they're playing Manchester United um, we can't say we've been the better team either um, I like that we've got a lot more to offer show them what you're about just show them what you're about Sami Ento's nervous yeah just go and show Manchester United who we are we are Middlesbrough Football Club and we are here to stay in the Premier League. And it says a lot that they're the only side who will have won both games if things stay as is. I'll tell you what we are going to do though. This is written in the stars, isn't it? Anthony Martial, released by Manchester United. This could be interesting. Uh, Sarmiento's not having a great game. I don't know if the counter-attack, maybe this sort of game doesn't suit him. Um, we'll, we'll bring on Alex Bangur and have him as a more traditional winger. Um, that might suit the attack, uh, the counter attack a, a little bit more. Uh, but other than that, I mean, yeah, I think everyone's having a pretty, a pretty all right game. To be honest with you, let's see if uh, if FM can script something special with Martial getting himself a goal against Man United. That would be amazing. Here's Bangura. Back to Daryl Enahan. I don't like us having the ball this deep in a highlight against Manchester United. Unless we're going to pass through them like prime Barcelona. Arroyo takes it past Hoyland like he's not even there. Here's Riley McGree. McGree now into Alex Bangura. Here's Matson on the overlap. Ian Matson now crosses it in towards Anthony Martial. Penalty. I think VAR might look at this. It could be a penalty. Was it a push? It's a push! We've got a penalty! Right. Get him on it. Our best penalty take... I mean, he, he, I'm tempted to bring Musleja on just, just for the sake of taking a penalty. Because Martial is nervous. And I do not want a nervous player taking a penalty, you know. Oh, man. Oh, what do I do? I'm going to bring Muslija on and I'm going to see if... Or Muslija, I'm probably butchering his name. Let's see if it swaps to him to take the penalty. Because as much as I love the idea of Martial getting a goal against United, I have a feeling he might miss being nervous. Oh, he's taking it anyway. Okay. Anthony Martial against his former club. Puts it in the bottom corner and Middlesbrough Football Club have levelled it. It's two each. Can you believe it? Martial with the equaliser and Anana did not move. Come on. When do we park the bus? <laughs> when do... Let's, not... Let's go and win the game. Matson with the corner. Here's Totty. Oh my god, this could be a mi Oh no, never mind. Totty's gave the ball. Oh, Matson. That's. He's off. Oh, Matson. What's he done? What's he done? Just when it looked like we were getting on top, what's he gone and done? Oh, that's so frustrating. Right, we need to we need to think very very carefully about what we're going to do here. Uh, left back wise, we haven't got anyone. Bangur is probably the only left back we could we could come on. We might have to have a real real reshuffle here. Um, I want to keep Idaguchi as a ball winner. I think Hackney's having a wonderful game. 
But the, why is the game playing? Um, right, we're going to drop Bangura to left back. He, he obviously played there for us quite a long time ago now, but we'll have him as a defensive fullback. Um, we'll bring off Hayden Hackney, I think. I mean, Musley just just come on, hasn't he? Annoyingly. Um, Hackney will bring off for Scott McKenna. We'll drop McKenna into a back five. We're going to have to just go literally as, as defensive as possible here. In fact, I'll stick Lenahan in the middle. Um, we'll have a five at the back. We'll have to have the two midfielders side by side in front of the back four. Odaguchi can remain as a ball winner. Muslija is not a DM, but we've just brought him on. Can I just pull him forward a bit? No, no, he's not liking that. I don't want to take him off because we've just brought him on. But needs must. Can hack... Oh. God, I've just brought him on. Do I bring him off again? I mean, he's not going to like it, is he? But we need... Matson has changed the, the game, so we're going to have to drop two ball winners. Isaiah Jones isn't a number 10. But we've made all of our changes. So I'm going to have Isaiah Jones in the middle. Musley just not going to be happy that he's being sent off. Uh, I've been subbed. I know that. But needs must here. We're going to go... Defensive. And I mean, hanging on to a point here. It's going to be a ginormous effort if the boys can do it. In fact, we've been we've been told to go very defensive, and I'm gonna I'm gonna agree. And we're gonna waste as much time wherever we can. This is literally like we are hanging on to a point that would keep us in the Premier League. That's what we need to do here. Come on, boys, you can do it. Oh no, four minutes. Oh, we've got, oh no, there's a highlight. Oh no, this would be horrible. This would be horrible. We've got potentially a point against Man United. Oh God, why did Matson get himself sent off? Bermir and shoots. We'll take that. We'll take that. Let him shoot from there. We don't mind. I think we're going to do it. We've done it. We've hung on to a point at home to Manchester United. It looked unbelievably sketchy in that first half. And I was worried we were going to get a real beating. But I tell you what, since then, we come back into the game, took our chances. Martial got a penalty and then we hung on with 15 minutes to go. I'm going to in I'm going to have to speak to Musley because he's furious. I knew he would be. Um well done lads, you've proved a lot of people wrong. That's increased his morale. I'm going to have to speak to him individually. Um What can we say to him? I needed to make tactical changes. Get in! What a great result that is. Uh, why did you do that? I mean... Yeah, I'll just say it's my decision. Doesn't matter. Um, don't want to comment on Hoyland. I couldn't care less. What a great point. At home to Man United, that is. And I said screenshot the table when we were sixth. Screenshot it now. We're bloody third. Um, it's not going to stay that way. But as long as we are as far away from this red bit as possible, I'm absolutely happy with that. I'm over the moon with that point. And of course, it was Martial who got the equaliser. Um, I'm not going to appeal against Matson's red. It looked pretty sketchy to me I mean oh god yeah cynical I think we just accept it hopefully they don't extend it 
um, and we'll find him obviously due to the, the code of conduct that we have and that is where we're going to leave it ladies and gentlemen so what a start to our Premier League campaign it couldn't have gone much better and I want to document this as much as possible because how can we not then go to Anfield and show you guys that so I'll play the Bristol City game off screen because the Carabao Cup doesn't matter as much I think in the grand context of what we're trying to achieve and we've got a Merseyside double next up Liverpool and Everton and then we're going to have to play Newcastle because it's Newcastle it's a derby the fans are going to love it so trips to Anfield and St James's Park are coming up <gasps> I have a feeling these two home games are going to be crucial and uh, then we, we probably will skip a few games and probably come back for Villa Arsenal after that but in terms of a start to a Premier League campaign you can't ask for much better than that but if you've enjoyed this video guys, do hit the like button and subscribe for much more. If you want to join me on our Premier League journey, then hit the subscribe button and I think that that result and them results deserve a like too. Comment below your thoughts and if you've got any suggestions for signings that we might make with the money we've got left available. Um, but until next time, a big thank you for watching guys. Do take care and I'll see you all in the next one.